Hi friends, I have updated my junk closet and therefore new material for the video has appeared. So, the top shopping at the local flea market. The issue number, devil knows what, I'm already confused myself. All these purchases were made within a couple of months. Moreover, this isn't all. I will only show large and interesting purchases. I will start with one of the heaviest purchases, three iron mains, 50 Hz transformers. I didn't pay for this purchase, they were bought and presented by a kind person. The price is about $8 a piece. I immediately like these transformers due to the fact that they are quite powerful and also they are German, produced by the company Birkleschuk. This is a fairly old German company that produces electrical equipment, in particular transformers of various types and purposes. The power of the first two transformers is 400 volt ampere, the third is slightly less powerful. A pair of them is completely identical and provides a voltage of 30 and 42 volts on the secondary winding, that is, with a midpoint. Current is 9.5 amps. These high quality transformers have good iron and are wound with copper. On the basis of the first two transformers, you can assemble a lot of things. A powerful charger, a power supply for amplifiers, a laboratory power supply, a bridge inverter, and so on. The third one is suitable, for example, for a galvanic isolation system and for all kinds of lamp devices. In general, all these samples are a real finding, given that these are high quality and reliable transformers for a funny price. Repeatedly I bought at flea market and I restored power tools. This time I couldn't get past this one. This is a cordless spray gun from a worldwide German brand. I erased the name so that it doesn't look like an advertisement. In general I have several tools from this brand and I will note that the quality is at a decent level. The spray gun has a native case, a charger and some kit. Set includes one 18 volt nickel cadmium battery. Scuffs and traces of paint indicate that the instrument is far from new. I got it for $25 and for the same money you can buy a completely new spray gun, not a rechargeable but a mains one. I'm a fan of cordless tools, that's why I took it. A few words about the spray gun. By the way, tool has the instruction. It's powered by 18 volt nickel cadmium battery. Has a power switch and a fuse. At the back there is a button with which you can select one of four operating modes. In fact, these modes change the angle or diameter of the so-called painting torch. Below are a half liter tank, trigger and a fuse. Several replaceable nozzles are included as well as a needle for cleaning. The charger is conventional with transformer. There is a docking station. Only one battery kit is included. There is also a handle for easy handling. The handle can be screwed on from either side, so it doesn't matter whether you are left-handed or right-handed, it will be convenient to work with the tool. Despite the fact that the spray gun is rechargeable, it's more powerful than some mains items. Maximum spray speed 300 milliliter minimum, tank volume half a liter, spray diameter half millimeter. It's quite noisy, just over 100 decibels. So far I have sprayed only water with this spray gun and the future video will be released about this video about the stuffing and remake of the battery with the charger in a modern way. And then we will test it in action. A short commercial break. Tired of homemade PCB technology or your PCBs aren't as pretty as you'd like? GLC will manufacture boards of any complexity and size for you. The complexity isn't important. The minimum cost for a batch of 10 to 10 cm boards starting from $2. Moreover, the price doesn't change depending on the selected color. Fast delivery and convenient payment methods and the quality is at the highest level. The link to the GLC website can be found in the description under the video. I was looking for small wheels that would be needed for my self-made semi-automatic and accidentally found them under a dirty market table. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that these were K15U-1 high-voltage ceramic capacitors. 
These are by no means unusual capacitors and are quite rare these days. They are very versatile and most importantly high frequency. They can continuously operate in high current resonant circuits without noticeable losses. They are mainly used in high power transmitters as capacitors in resonant circuits. On their basis you can make excellent induction heaters, all sorts of high voltage resonant crafts and much more. They are durable, capable of operating in a wide temperature range from minus 60 to plus 150 degrees Celsius. The screw fixing method allows them to be screwed directly to the circuits without the use of additional wires. I don't need them at the moment, but it's a sin to miss such components. For everything that you see on the table now, about $14 were paid. Believe me, it's cheap, given that we rarely come across them at flea markets. On the contrary, laboratory auto transformers are often found at flea markets, but as a rule, these are small devices with a current under 2 amps, while large samples per kilowatt and above are very rare. The seller called me and said that he has an interesting sample and I should take a look at it. At first seeing this, I was delighted until I realized that the letter was burned out. Despite this, I decided to take it, thinking that rewinding the section wouldn't be difficult. The price was rather big, about $21, but it's worth even in this state. The problem was that I couldn't fully determine what kind of letter it was. It has a case and an identification marks. There are some guesses, but again, these are just guesses. Either it is a part of some three-phase auto transformer or something from the piano 250 line or like that, or it was part of some military complex from a generator set. If you have any thoughts on this, please write a comment. This letter is interesting, first of all, because it's quite powerful and weighty. Weighs as much as 12 kilogram and is heavier than letters for 2 kilowatt ampere. The latter weigh about 8 kg. Next, the current collection is carried out on both sides. For this, there is a pair of graphite rollers with an adjustable clamping mechanism. Also, it has a lot of outputs. In terms of execution, it is felt that this is a serious thing. Good insulators, a reliable aluminum base. Definitely, this isn't a modern auto transformer, but from Soviet Union times. The diameter of the winding wire is 1 mm. As a result, no matter how cruel it sounds, I decided to disassemble it completely. The letter is a good thing, but the fact is that I already have a weak letter and I also have a school power supply kit which is irreplaceable on my desktop. In fact, this is also a letter but with galvanic isolation and gives out both alternating and constant voltage at the output. Why did I decide to disassemble this letter? I have plans to make a semi-automatic welder device and everything that I need is available, except of a compact good core for a power transformer. This Taurus is just perfect for my purposes, but again, I'd very much like to hear your opinion, to restore a letter or still wind a transformer for a semi-automatic welder device. These things from the 80s of last century are very curious devices designed to control the EPU21302E electric motor. These are unified DC electric drives. They were used and are probably still used to control DC motors for machine tools, in robotics, etc. This is a huge line of electric drives with different power voltages and feedback options. Nowadays, in the age of digital technology, similar devices have become much smaller and are more functional, but this grandfather has its own characteristics. The power section consists of a track and a rectifier. The power rectifier is built on 40 ampere diode assemblies MDD40. The track is controlled through a transformer and control is built on a single junction transistor KT117. The usual phase pulse control method is realized. There is a board with brains and a power supply with a separate transformer. The drive is also equipped with a feedback system. The control is quite smart, synchronized with the mains and generates control pulses at the right time. 
The unit is equipped with all kinds of protections. Many modifications make it possible to connect the tachometer and have protection against its breakage. It can limit the maximum motor current, provide motor reverse, etc. In general, this is a good control unit. Regarding the abbreviation, EPU means Unified DC Electric Drive. Next, number two is serial number of development. The third number shows the maximum current. In this case, 30 means 10 amps. The next number two shows the output rectified voltage, 230 volts. The letter E indicates the type of feedback. In this case, the motor EMF feedback. The power of this sample is 0.7 kilowatt. I have two such drives. One is in a deplorable state. Everywhere there is rust and someone beat off a couple of components. They were purchased purely for the sake of a power trike and diet assemblies. The price is 5.5 per price. And finally, I present one more transformer, only this time the high voltage OS33730. This is a single phase step up transformer. On the secondary winding, provides a high voltage of 7000 volts. It is designed to work as a transformer for the ignition of gases or liquid fuels. It is used in industrial heating devices, boilers, etc. The input voltage is 220. The output is about 7 kW at a current of 30 mA. And the operating time is no more than 7 minutes. It is made in a metal case. In front, it has connectors for connecting to mains and a high voltage output. The second end of the high voltage winding is connected to the metal case. Weight is about 2.5 kg. I bought it at the same time as the high voltage capacitor shown earlier. Taken together, we get an almost complete kit for a classic Tesla transformer. The price is a little more than $4. The condition is working. Well, that's probably all. If you like the video, the best rating is a subscription and a comment. Of course, you can share it with your friends. Now, I say goodbye until we meet again. With you, as always, was Kassian TV.